Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking Bahrain's historic achievements in the 18th Asian Games recently concluded in Jakarta, where the kingdom made a remarkable success in winning a total of 26 medals. His Majesty praised the efforts of their Highnesses and their roles in supporting the youth in various fields and sporting, rather sporting activities, which led to this honorable success. He also hailed the support of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, which contributed to make this achievement. His Majesty then praised the efforts of the Bahraini athletes who participated in this championship and their keenness to enhance the status of the kingdom and in various international events. He pointed out that Bahrainis have the ability to achieve the best results on the global level. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's historic achievements at the 18th Asian Games, which concluded in Jakarta today. Sheikh Nasser extended his deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the Kingdom's outstanding success in winning 26 medals during the 18th Asian Games. His Highness stated that the landmark sports achievements and the distinguished level showcased by Bahraini athletes at such a major international gathering reflects the Kingdom's prestigious international status and the progress it is witnessing in various fields during His Majesty the King's prosperous era. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and Council members. His Majesty noted that Islam encourages learning not only in religion but in all fields to serve humanity, wishing the attendees constant success. The SCIA President presented His Majesty with the first copy of the latest Islamic book publications from the Council, which is the al wafa Bifadl al-Mustafa, that consists of five volumes authorized by Ibn al jawzi who passed away in 597 Hijri date. Sheikh Abdurrahman expressed honor in meeting His Majesty the King and thanked His Majesty on behalf of the Council members for this meeting and the responsibility entrusted by him. Sheikh Abdurrahman added that this meeting was an opportunity to receive the wise directives of His Majesty the King and reiterate his pride in His Majesty's appreciation for the role of the SCIA since its establishment in serving religion and the homeland and upholding noble values, making it a model of Islamic unity. The SCIA president pledged to continue serving the religion and the country based on the responsibility entrusted to the council as well as an appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant support. Sheikh Abdurrahman prayed the Almighty to safeguard His Majesty the King and to aid the Council in carrying out its duties.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired Al Ghaibiya Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. The cabinet commended the outcomes of the recent visit of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi to the kingdom during which he held talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet held the historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt in all fields, stressing that the visit of the Egyptian President will further develop these relations for the benefit of both countries and people. The cabinet also valued the supportive stances of Egypt towards Bahrain, hailing its vital role at both the Arab and Islamic levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated students and administrative staff on the occasion of the new school year, wishing them all success. He stressed the need to strengthen the national educational process and further develop the quality of education in line with the present and future developmental needs. The cabinet reviewed the Ministry of Education's preparation in this regard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then welcomed the achievements of the Kingdom at International Sports Forums, noting the success of Bahrain in the 18th Asian Games in which Bahrain gained 26 different medals, including 12 gold medals, ranking first among countries. He noted the efforts of the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in supporting the youth and sports sectors and paving the way for more international achievements, commending the efforts and abilities of Bahraini athletes. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's support to the United Nations Relief and Work Agency, hailing its humane role in efforts in aiding Palestinian refugees. The cabinet followed up on the measures taken by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on meeting the needs of a number of villages and areas in the Kingdom's governorates. His Royal Highness directed to complete these social projects that serve a number of cities and villages in the Kingdom during 2019. His Royal Highness also directed to speed up the development projects in Isa Town, Hamad Town, Southern Governorates and Hura. The cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Expenditure, the Memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs on a draft resolution to determine the fines for the violation of labor law provisions in the civil sector. The cabinet discussed a draft resolution amending Article 14 of the Executive List of Decree by Law 26 of 2015 on Commercial Registration and Resolution 126 of 2016. The cabinet approved allowing a number of foreign companies to open branches in the kingdom to practice a number of activities and excluding them from the requirement of having a Bahraini partner for strategic and economic importance in the kingdom. The cabinet approved a draft law amending Article 43 of the Real Estate Rental Law 27 of 2014 
aiming at allowing the appeal of the decisions of the least disputes commitment rather committee before the grand civil court. The cabinet referred to the representatives council two draft laws accompanied by a memorandum of the government's point of view. The first is on a draft law amending article 361 of the penal code and the second on a draft law ca cancelling the second paragraph of article 326 of the civil and commercial procedures law. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the private and banking sector representatives to discuss ways of increasing cooperation and coordination that would support the youth and sports movement in the kingdom, as well as giving these sectors the opportunity of becoming permanent backers of the youth and sports sectors in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to private and banking sector representatives. His Highness affirmed that His Majesty the King highly regards the great efforts exerted by the private sector that aim to elevate the various pillars of sustainable development in the kingdom in addition to supporting the youth movement and sports. He stated that the youth and sports movement is moving steadily on the path of development and growth Due to the care of His Majesty the King and his vision to further progress these vital sectors to enable them to reach high ranks, which it was evident by achieving the 11th place in the overall ranking and first place among Arab countries in the Asian Games held in Jakarta through winning 26 medals. Sheikh Nasser cited the support of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa which had a significant result in advancing the youth and sports sectors by including in the government's program of action several initiatives aimed at ensuring the progress of these sectors. His Highness also cited the constant care and directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa that paves the way for the citizens of Bahrain to continue the development march. His Highness added that any successful achievement wouldn't be possible without unity and cooperation that enables reaching noble goals. Sheikh Nasser continued to state that during the past period, a new strategy has been implemented for the youth and sports movement in the kingdom, which seeks to provide these two sectors with a system based on the correct scientific methods. He revealed the important role of the private and banking sectors in the development strategy of the sports and youth sectors and expressed his aspirations of a constant support to the sector through contributing to national clubs, youth centers, and various sports federations, as well as working to improve the efficiency of the facilities and their infrastructure. His Highness emphasized that the new strategy aims to develop all youth and sports systems, adding that efforts are being exerted to enable the Bahraini football team to be present at the 2022 World Cup. The meeting witnessed discussions put forth by a number of attendees in which they lauded the support of His Majesty the King to sports and youth movement, as well as the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and building strategies that would achieve progress in the sector. The participants also underscored the keen interest of the private and banking sector in backing the youth in sports within the framework of Bahraini youth support.
as part of the Combating Terrorism Strategy Seminar held under the patronage of the Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Center for Strategic Studies, Darasat, and Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, delivered a lecture today titled Terrorist Threats in the Kingdom of Bahrain and Mechanisms to Counter Them. The seminar is organized by the Royal Guard in cooperation with the European Institute for Security Studies. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Dirasat expressed pride of the Bahrain Defense Force history, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, noting that the BDF plays its national role efficiently as a result of the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. He noted that Bahrain has a successful and integrated system in combating extremism and terrorism, adding that terrorism is one of the main challenges that face the Middle East and the world as a whole.